five man protection, which we call 94 and 95. All right? About the only one we got that makes any damn sense I can remember is four and five. Five man protection is 91, 92, shit, those All right. Five man protection. That means we've got no running backs helping us. We've got no tight ends helping us. So everybody's out, and the quarterback has got to throw hot because if they bring six, we can only block five. If they bring seven, we can only block five. So this is this is a protection where we want to try to get everybody out. And, and sometimes it, for us, it's probably the better one because we got all, everybody's ass out of our way and we'll pick it up. All right. Let's start it. So we don't have to worry about like 91, 92. We know if I'm the number side, if I'm 92 protection, I'm the right guard. We got to do or we got to sort. We got to sort or we got to gap alert. 91, I'm the left guard. I got it. Well, 94 and 95, we've got it on both sides. There's a possibility of having it on both sides. And what I'm talking about is if somebody came up and ran an oaky front on us, they played us four cross quarters look. And we didn't know where they're coming, all right? We got an oaky look, we don't know who's coming. We don't know if this free safety's gonna shoot back there, he's gonna drop off, and they're gonna bring this guy and he'll set and play flat. Or are they gonna bring this guy, I mean bring this guy and drop that one back. So. It's kind of a guessing game. This, this causes a few problems in, in the throwing game, the Oki pure three-man uh, three down lineman. All right, three down lineman front, or 50. All right, so we've got the Oki front. We've got 94 protection. That means that back's free to release. He's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. So it's just us and the quarterback. So I'm man on, I got it. Now, Basically, the tackle would normally have man on, man outside, I've got it. Man on, man outside, I've got it. But that's not the case right now because we've got one, two, three possible rushers. One, two, three possible rushers. So, again, we'll go back to our rules on an oaky front. Oaky front, guards uncovered. Now, we've got 94 here and 94 here. So, we've got a dual read on both sides. So now we got sort over here. Tackle's gonna set one, two, three. Guard's gonna set one, two. We're reading this linebacker, both of us. That linebacker drops and they rush this and we pick that up, okay? Center stays man. This guard here is gonna drop one, two. This tackle here is gonna vertical one, two, three. Reading one, two, three. They blow this linebacker in this gap right here and loop that guy around and we have to pass that off, boom, boom, boom. If he blitzes, he's got to be free. So we could pick that up over there. They could run this. The quarterback would have to throw hot off of this guy. All right? Because we've got no, we've got no protection. All right? I mean, we've got no running backs to help us. It's hard to slide it. And it's hard to go lucky, lucky, lucky. If you go lucky, 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 and they blow the backer, we've got nobody to pick him up. We got nobody to pick them up, you gotta throw hot. Now, we do do a thing we call sin. And I don't wanna to get too in depth, some of you young guys and stuff, but if we call sin 94, all right, what that would mean is we may, we may go lucky, lucky, lucky. All right? And then all of a sudden you sit right there and we slide it right like that. Now, if that nose guard goes away, as soon as that nose guard, you come back over here, and we try to pick up, we try to pick up the five. If we think it's fire zone, if we think we're going to fire zone and run that and do this, we'll send it where we go lucky. Nose guard goes away. We'll pop back, pick up that, try to pick that up, and still got to throw hot off of this guy. Don't worry about that right now. But that's called sin. S I N. Send it back. All right. Let's just get the basis of it right now. So we've got a sort over here. 
We've got a sort over here on both sides of center's man. Okay? And that's how we pick it up. We sort an oaky front both sides. Alright, we pick that up. Alright, let's go over here to an uh, under front. Say for some reason they got the backer walk, we got that, we got the shade, we got a backer, got a three here. Boom. Alright. Quarterback comes up, calls Mike Wright. If he calls Mike Wright, we know the back's out, the white out's out, white out's out, everybody's out. He calls Mike Wright. I'm locked in on the mic. Boom, 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 boom. Back here, we are now automatically, we've got a 40 look. We've got a 40 look. Over here, we had a 50 look. A 50 look. We've got a 40 look. Now we're on 1 2, 1 2, but we're working it inside, so now we're on a gap alert. We're on gap alert over here. We are on gap alert. Boom, boom, boom. Key to gap alert is that the tackle vertical is back one, two, three, and gets to this point depth wise. So if he does have to step in there and take this three technique, and the backer walks up and blows, and the guard takes the linebacker, this outside end has to run that hump to get around there. So the quarterback's got time. He still it's not a it's not a direct shot, straight shot to the quarterback. He's got to run around his body presence and get around there to our quarterback. All right. So that's against an under look right there. Okay, they would treat this just the same. If he spiked and he scraped, we'll switch it off. All right, if they spiked him, blew him, and brought him late, we gotta throw hot off of this guy. Takes two. If, it, if that guy come boom, then we'll have to break a route, try to throw the hot route in there to the wide out. All right, if over here, take one. If this guy blitzes, boom, boom, then we try to hit that guy on the pop right there and get the ball. Okay? If the quarterback knew that this linebacker, there's no way by the by games for study whatever, and they walked up, boom, 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 and was coming here, and we knew that there was no way they could uh, bring this front side backer because they got to get people in coverage. Now we could go lucky, lucky, lucky. We slide that, boom, 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 and we'd be in pretty good shape. But the tackle, he'd have that right there. What I would like for you tackles to know, if we go under, look. If you get any kind of, you're an oaky side. You're on the oaky side. Let's just do it this way. I'm a tackle, even though I've got under here. All right. He walks up the dog. He walks up the dog. We go lucky. We go lucky because we're trying to handle the box. Boom, boom, boom. Set that, set that. Slide it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I want to put this tackle. I want, I'd like for that tackle to set it back. One, two. One to two. And MDM this linebacker to this end. If we're sliding it, hopefully if we've done enough research game film-wise that they're, they're doing that, dropping that, and dropping him, or buzzing him, and dropping him, whatever. But we're still sitting there and hooked up on that. But they could, down the road, know we do that, and all of a sudden walk him up, boom, boom, and then on the snap of the ball, blow him, and loop him wide. I'd like to MDM that one, two, if he's blown, take him, let fat ass chase the quarterback. All right, so we'd MDM at Lucky on the back side. All right, that's against an under. All right, if we go against an over front. Go against an over front. Three, here, boom, backer. Backer, strong safety's there, wheel linebacker's out here, all right, boom. All right, now, quarterback comes up and clears, Mike left, Mike left, all right. Uh, we can slide that, boom, 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 which I don't really like to do that much because I like to keep the middle strong where he can post, you set, and help something on that. If it, and then we set on the vertical here. All right, 
is body presence that. Well, body presence, the three technique, is long, even though you've got that backer. Now, if that backer starts going away from you, this is totally up to the center. If that backer starts going away from you, or he's over in a big gap threat, then fuck it. Lucky the thing, put your cover your ass and get yourself in position. That's all on the center's call. I need to make a note there. That's all on the center's call. You gotta feel comfortable that you can still set that three. Uh, he ain't setting three. Hell, you got 18 inch split there and 18 inch split there. You snap it, setting back here, just body present checking your back. But I'm up there getting ready to snap it, and I see his ass moving away from me, and I'm worried about him. Go lucky, 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 snap it and slide. Snap it and slide. Snap it and slide. It. I mean, shit ain't that big of a deal. No matter what, when he goes Mike left, they go Mike over here to the left, and that put us on automatic, all right, we are automatic on gap alert. We're on gap alert. We got a three technique with an A gap back. We're automatic gap alert. So if I get a lucky call, he goes lucky, we know we've lost our center. Center's gone, all right, we're all that. He walks up this gap, gap, bat. One, two, one, two, three, and we play it. They do that, we pick that up, he drops. He blows, we pick that up, make him run the hunt. We set back, he bails out, we pop on him, pop on him. But we're on gap alert because we've got a 40 look over here and then we lost our center of what? That's how we handle that if it's an even front. We could have over, we have over with a shade. We have overlook with a shade, all right? Right there. Right, we're sitting right here, we set that, we set that. We're in pretty good shape. Foot to crotch at center, snap that foot to crotch, guard set there and help. And the inside pistol with your hand, you got the linebacker. We're on gap alert over here. Again, gap alert. Gap alert over here on this A gap back. Boom. Okay. If that backer would walk outside and get on the line of scrimmage. All right. Now we're just we're just basically man, and we're man here, and you're basically now. Anytime that backer walks out, anytime that backer gets out here to here, it, the guard's out of the thing now. The guard's manned up, and now the tackle becomes an MDM situation. The tackle becomes an MDM situation. Because we don't have a gap alert here if that son of a bitch is lined up out here. And he can dog back in there. But if he's going to run back in on the snap the ball from here, if he lines up there on the ball snap, you set, you set, and he runs there, quarterback's got to get rid of him. We're judging distance. We're judging distance from here to the QB, to here. He's going to set back and take his set. If he's here at the snap of the ball, then I'm saying if he, if he can't set back and get rid of it by the time he can run that distance, we're not going to win the damn game any fucking way. All right? We're going to have a hard time winning anyhow. So that's what we want to use. Now, if he's lined up out here, we're going to set. One, two, three, boom. Set right there. We're going to vertical three. So if he does come, we make him run the hunt. Now, if he's right there, if he's right there outside the guard and he's starting to sugar dog around here, that, that puts us back into that four, three mode. I don't know if you remember when we looked at that tape uh, uh, the last time we looked, say we've got a 4-3. Uh, we've got Sam, Mike, boom, and Will. Mike walks up on his head. All three of those are covered. All right, the wheel's up here screwing around. Well, I'm solid, I'm solid, I'm solid. So now you are in an MDM situation on one to two. Boom, boom to boom. You're in an MD situa MDM situation on one and two. Well, it's the same thing here. Once, if that linebacker is lined up in that A gap, we're on gap alert. Better be ready to pop it down. That linebacker moves out here. He's out here now. 
the gap situation's off. The guard's freed up. The guard's freed up, baby. You gotta just take your guy. You can't help me out here. You got a guy in between you and him. You gotta go man here. Just like these guys had to go man there. That linebacker walks up on the head of the center, can't help shit. We're manned up. Same thing here. That backer's out. Now you're MDM on this side here on 5M protection. Okay? MDM. You set it back vertical. One, two, three. If he comes, pop his ass, make him run the hunt. If you set back one, two, three, and he's on you first, boom. I know I still like to try to block linebackers because they're faster than fat asses. Okay? So that's, that's the thinking there. All right? All right, good. So that's over, under, and then stack. Stack, we just covered it. I don't think they will ever have, you know, a pure 4-3 stack in there against that. I've, I've seen a lot of this. And Sam's out here and Will's out here in the overhang. All right. Now we just got Mike Middle Center's got Mike. Now in this situation here, we're going to set man on, no man on, man outside. Man on, no man on, man outside. That's easy. I'm posting him. I'm kicking him. I'm setting and clearing my guards. I'm going to snap and clear my guards so if Mike decides to wrap there, I can slide and pick him up. I snap and clear the guard. If Mike decides to wrap there, I can bump it. I'm in position to bump it. Or if he's locked up good and he wraps around, I slide over and pick him up. So I want to, I want to clear them guards. That's why the guards have got to sit firm up there so that center can clear back. And we still got a yard and a half area right here that we're going to protect. All right? Again, the depth of the pocket in here in the middle, the width of the pocket out here on the outside. All right? If Will comes back inside, and we got Mike declared Mike middle, and Will comes back inside, and we're sitting there, now this tackle right here, you are an MDM. You are MDM on a vertical set, vertical set, boom, boom. That situation right there, all right? You got that situation. We're going to try to block the five most dangerous, but, you know, don't always work. I'm going to throw something at you so you get it in your mindset right now, and we may have to sit the first couple games. Now you come up there and you get an odd stack defense. Stack, when I hear the word stack, I know I got a middle linebacker. Odd stack, even stack, four, three stack, don't make a shit. I know I got a middle linebacker. I got a Sam and a Will. I got a strong safety out here, weak safety or bullet back there, whoever. All right. Got a quarterback. Got five guys getting out. All right. Got five guys getting out of there. All right, hopefully it'll tie up that Sam Backer, but maybe not. Maybe not. They just may walk that damn safety down, set that safety there, take that running back with that safety, and say the hell with it. We're coming after your ass. Okay? All right. Now, we got Oki front. Guard uncovered, guard uncovered. All right? I got man on, no man outside. Man on, nobody outside. All right, but when you're in an oaky front and you're in five-man protection, we got no running backs, we got nobody to help us. Us five got to handle it all. There's six, seven, eight. There's eight possible blisters. There's eight possible blisters. That's what you got to understand about the three-three stack and the four-two, the even front. You got an even front right here. Boom, boom, boom. Strong safety, Sam. Mike will. Alright. Well, I've got one, two, three, four across there. I got three here. Four and three makes, I mean a four there and four here. I got four across there and four across there. That makes eight. I got eight possible blitzers. Alright. I've got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five and three makes eight. I got eight possible blitzers. All right. 
So when I got that, oh, that's just the same. I could jump, I could jump this guy over here to play nose guard, jump that linebacker there, that linebacker, and jump that guy out there. If I did that, if I jumped him over to here, jumped him back here to backer, and jumped these two guys here, I got a 3-3 stack. I could be in a 3-3 stack, I could be in a 3-3 stack, jump this guy to one technique, jump that Mike backer to a three technique, squeeze these guys back in, and I'm in an even front. I can switch it. It don't, it don't change a damn thing with these safeties. The safeties and the coverage is all the same. So I can take the six guys in the middle. I can take the one, two, three, four, five, six, be a three, three. I can take the six and be a four, two. It makes no difference, all right? How they jump it around. It's still got the possible blitz. Only over here, whenever you get a 40 look, you, it helps declare everything. When you get a 40 look, it helps declare everything. What I'm saying by this is this. If I've got an oaky front, somewhere their coverage, if the strong safety's down, more than likely he's rushing, he's rushing, he's rushing, he's rushing, and he's dropping. Okay? More than likely. You get a 40 front, You cleared it up right now. Them fuckers are rushing, and they can do all that other shit they want to. Them guys are rushing. All right? Now, Maryland was a football team we played. They always had that one little son of a bitch out there that stood up like a linebacker. They were playing a 40 front, but stood him up linebacker. Sometimes he rushed, sometimes he dropped, and they had to get the fire zone. But anyway, anytime you go to a 40 front, oh, I can go this way to make it better. I got an Oki there. All right, we'll just go Oki over here. We'll go Oki over here, just like we got Oki there. I put a nose guard in it, but I'm gonna come down here and do that. Well, you just you just helped me. I, I, I just moved down, took that backer out, boom. You just helped me. He's rushing, he's rushing, he's rushing, he's rushing, he's dropping. I know right now who the drop in is. Up here, I don't know who the drop-in is. They could cheat the free safety down there and rush this guy. And that guy dropped back. So I mean, you get a pure Oki front, it can go either way. When you go Oki over here, but when you put 40 on the other side, you cleared it up. I know he's going right now. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that falls in to your mindset and you understand what I'm talking about. Because that's what it gets back to here. We've got an Oki situation, all right? We've got backers. We've got Sam, Mike, and Will. We've got five-man protection. All of a sudden, they dog, this, they dog these guys up here on the blitz. They dog these guys up here on the blitz. Well, your first reaction, your first reaction is to Ringo. Go Ringo. Slide it here. One, slide, slide, slide. Set that. All right, you do that, all of a sudden you Ringo that, slide that, and now all of a sudden the ball snapped and that linebacker runs out of there and that linebacker runs out of there and this guy here and that linebacker blitzes. You don't have it picked up. You've wasted him, the nose guard goes there, he's not blocking anybody. He goes out, he's not blocking anybody. So we've totally wasted it. Plus, we, we could go MDM back here, but we're still turning the guy free. We're still turning one free, okay? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So what we want to do, all right, let's go Mike. All right, over here, we got five-man protection. He calls Mike left, Mike left. All right, we can slide that, whatever. He walks up, we're on gap alert. We can 
gap alert. If both backers are back, I've done this. I've set that center back. I've set that center back clear, okay? And just set that, set that, and then if he comes up late on the blitz, just took him and left that, but I don't want to get in that. Right now, we'll stay with 30. He still got that. If that's Mike left, he walks up for gap alert. Boom, boom. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do here, when they run that back, Mike backer up, and they run that backer there in the gap, we're going to treat that, because all they're basically doing, all they're basically doing when they do that is this. All they're basically doing is putting us in a three technique. That linebacker's right there in a three technique. He's a five technique right there. And that linebacker's an A-gap blitz. So that puts us in a gap alert. All right. So whichever side the Mike backer comes to with the other backer, they are in gap alert. Set it back. They both blitz. We'll take him, take him, let him go. Now, that, that, that puts the center in man here. The center's in man here. We're in gap alert over here. Now, we'll slice the defense in half. So if we're in gap alert, that means we're treating that like a 40. We're treating that like a 40 because of Mike and that other backer walked up in there and made it dictate it. So now back here, we are in a sort. We're going to treat this like it's one, two, three, because they're all outside. We'll set back two, set back three, read it out. He blitzes, he blitzes. We'll sort this side away from the mic. If Mike goes to the right, we're sorting here, we're gapping over here. If Mike would walk up over here on this side, we're going to gap alert over here, we'll sort back out on this side. So that's how we handle the odd stack against the different things. You don't want to slide the odd stack. You do not want to slide the Ringo and Lucky. You're going to get in trouble and you're going to lose a block and then you're going to lose a defender. So that's how we're going to pick up the, uh, the protection in that. If you would get a, uh, if you would get a, a, a bear look, they jump down and want bear on us. All right? Now, this is how we used to drill that, right here, all right? This is tough. Basically, he's covered, all right? So really, I've got a three technique, I've got a three technique, so I've got a 40 over here and a 40 over here. That puts me right now in an automatic gap alert. Set two, set three. Set two, set three, and all four of these guys Right here, have to read that back. So you set back, one, two, one, two. He blitzes here, he picks that up, he picks that up. You slide back out, you slide back out. We're throwing hot off of him, he's got to run the hunt. If we set back two and three, and he blitzes here, I'll pop that up, I'll pop down on that, I'll pop back out here, and I'll pop back out there, and we pick that up. So that's, that's a little tough. We'll drill that some. But once you get, if you can block this right here, if you can pick this up right here, you can pick up anything in ball. And, and I've had teams could do it, and I've had guys could do it with ease. So that, the bear puts us in double gap alert both sides. We both read the middle line by. So that basically right there, is our five-man protection, 94 and 95, how we pick up things. We may make some adjustments week to week depending on the opponent or depending on a certain rusher. If they got a certain guy that we feel like is going to give us more problems, we can make some adjustments. But that right there, one, if you can pick up 94 and 95 protection, we can do anything. The rest of it is cakewalk. The rest of it is cakewalk. All right.